All right. What we when you're running your process, you're going to need to open and close valves in some sort of timing sequence. Your first your fill valve opens. There's a certain amount of time for that. Then your timing your uh, gate valve opens, and there's an amount of time for that. And you can use these timers to create your control sequences. And what I did here is I've turned both of these on delay timers on with some fictitious run command, whatever I want to do to start my process. And this timer will continue to run as long as timer 2 done is not completed. When it finishes, it will turn on its coil, timer 1 done. Right? Now when timer 1 done turns on, timer 2 starts timing. Okay? When it finishes timing, your timer 2 will go true, turn on, and then this and go false and turn off this timer for one scan. It's a one scan reset. So it starts the process back over again. And in this case what I'm setting up is five seconds for this timer, one second for that timer. If you look at the timing diagram, you'll see that the output on timer one done is off for five seconds. Then it will be on for one second. Off for five, on for one. Okay? What happens if you look at timer two done, I show its output going true as just a line. One single line right there, here, here, and here. That's indicative of the output just going true for one scan. One scan is all you need to reset this process. This process will continue going five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one for as long as run is on. So let's say for instance I need a valve to operate for five seconds and then a valve to operate for one second. First valve is five seconds. So I look at my timing diagram, as long as run is on and T1 done is off, that's my five second valve output. So I would put two contacts in series to drive my five second valve. Then if I have run is on and T1 is on, that drives my second valve. And I can expand this and you can add more timers and more sequences and everything to control all of this if you have multiple sequential valve operations or sequences to go on. So you have your timer set up, you have your timing output, and then what you would have below this rung here are your output combination logic to turn on your valves. Both of these timers are on delay. Okay? See right here, at this point here, T2 is energized. As, at this point here, when this timer, when these contacts close, T2 is energized, it starts timing. Right? And after a second, its output goes on. So you use these on delays to create your timing sequences. So your output, this is, th these are both on delay timers. T2 done is not a one shot coil, it's a standard coil, but it's an effective way of one shot coil because this will come true, the next scan this will open up, reset the timer, and shut everything off for one scan.